Back again, back again, YouTube, and welcome back to the coding workshop. And in today's video, we are going to we're going to be installing Symphony HTTP Foundation, which is essentially just an object layer for HTTP specifications. Um, do do we actually need it? Straight answer is no, but it offers many features that I think would be useful for a project later on down the line when we start building stuff like APIs. So we're going to be installing it. And I'm going to actually be creating our very own wrapper classes around that component. So we can use it anywhere within our project. And let, let me say again, all external libraries that we bring into our project, I want to keep it in one location. Which means I'm going to be creating a wrapper class around that around that component, external component. And so if anything changes, then I've only got that one place to go and make changes. Right? So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing and i hope you all having a good morning and this is probably going to be a, a shorter video than the ones that i've done before so let's get started so first thing i want to do actually i want to go ahead and open up my terminal um, then i want to say composer require and I believe it's called symphony forward slash http foundation I think that's what it's called. Oh, well, mm. could not be resolved to an installable set of packages. Right. I know what that error is. I've just up, I've just updated my ZAMP um, environment and it's downloaded a newer version of PHP and we're using a different version within our composer. So we just need to go and make that, make that change. And where is it up here I'm gonna put 12 save that that should actually solve our problem let's try that again composer require symphony HTTP foundation there we go that solved that problem And if we look back into our composer, there we go, it's been installed. So the next thing I want to do actually, I want to go into my main core directory. I want to create a couple of directories or create one directory. And I'm going to call it HTTP. Within that, I'm going to create two files. I'm going to call it request, request handler.php and response handler.php and let's work on the request handler first so php declare strict types namespace we're not magma http directory all right so class and say request handler but we also need to bring in that symphony namespace and I believe it's called use it's called symphony component there we go and we want that request class so again this is going to be very straightforward it's a simple wrapping class it's going to contain one method that encapsulate that request that symphony request class so I'm going to call it the public function and I'm going to call it handler. Let's call it handler for now. And that's going to return that request, right? And I'm going to say if is it request. This is a variable that we've not created yet. I'm checking that it exists. Then we're going to actually store that request object in that variable. Then I'm going to say request equal new request. Then I'm going to say if request, then I'm going to create a new variable called create. I'm going to equal that to request and that's 
create from global which is a symphony method that is part of the request class all right and so if create then return then I'm going to say a false at the bottom return false otherwise and that's as simple as it is for our request wrapper class let's turn off all of these um, extension just tighten the doing my head in disable well it's already been disabled so I'm getting a lot of a lot of like popping up on the screen and it's kind of like blocking your guys view and it's blocking my view so um let's just push on so that's the simple request wrapping class and that's all it's going to contain now this is going to be very similar to the response class which i'm just going to copy all of this i'm going to paste it into the response handler class make a couple of changes that should be response i'm going to call it handler but I'm gonna say it's gonna return a response. You know what? Let's just write it out. Let's just write it out. So you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna say if is it response, then I'm gonna say response equal new response. Right? I'm gonna say if response then return that object again very simple very simple wrapping class for our symphony http foundation component so we can actually use this throughout our project and if there's any changes that that happens within symphony which is very unlikely then we've only really got this one place to come and make the changes because when we start using these methods outside of our well inside of our application the last thing we want to be doing is using the symphony component as it is within our application and stuff changes and then we have to go through all of our app files to try and make those changes so that's the purpose of these wrapping class we're keeping it in one place and we're using these wrapper methods within our application so if there's anything that changed with symphony we've only got this one place to come and make those changes that's it guys thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next one coming up shortly before we go let's actually just make this as well this is what happens when you when you when you copy and paste you, you miss stuff out but i've just catched this and this should be response i hope you've guys seen that i'm probably shouting at the screen but yeah we've made that little change i'm going to save this i'm going to push this entire um video that we've just done push what we've just done to github so again, you're always working with the latest stuff that I've put, that I've done, that I've put out. So again, thanks for watching. Make a like, share, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you very shortly. Thanks. Bye.